Good morning, everyone. I thought today I'd sit outside and do my thought for the day. I've got planes going overhead. I've got a stunning blue sky. There's not a cloud in the sky. I've got birds singing, a dove, pigeon was just flying over. And it's quite lovely to think we're into spring and summer's coming. And when you get to this point of the year, you suddenly see life bursting out in the garden, flowers popping up, daisies in the grass. And life takes on a takes life takes on a lighter step to what it's been during the dark and sometimes cold, dreary winter. But it made me think about me. Um, I first gave my life to Christ when I was 16 years old in the back of my father's Cortina, coming back from a Christian camp. And to be perfectly frank, he'd made no change in my life whatsoever. I went through the sixth form doing things I shouldn't have been doing. And it wasn't until I was 19 at a Bible study week at the church, I gave my heart to Christ and that changed my life. And I can look back over the last, since I became a Christian, over 40 years and see good times and sad times and bad times. Those things I think of, if I could go back in time, I would change the things that I did, decisions I made, things I said, things I did, etc. And I'm sure we all do. But I was struck as I was thinking about this morning on a psalm. And it's Psalm 139. It's one of my favourite psalms, as they all are written just, what, 3,000 years ago or so. And all these psalmists say things that I wanted to say. They think things and put these in, into words of the questions I have. They say of William Shakespeare that he wrote all the play plots and themes that you could ever write for a film or a story. And the same thing could be said of the psalms. The psalmists raise issues and points and thoughts that I think about, but don't know how to express. And Psalm 139, I'd like to read to you because it does that for me. It says this, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light, light becomes night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like day, for the darkness is as light to you. For you, created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before, before one of them came to be. How precious, how precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only, God, you would slay the wicked Away from me, you are bloodthirsty. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them as my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. 
And the psalmist goes through these reflective things of who he is before God. No matter where he goes, you or me go in our lives to run away from God. God is always there. And then he has this rant about you slaying the wicked and the bloodthirsty. And he's jealous for God. He's not jealous of other people. He's jealous for God. Because when you hear people cursing God's name and discard our faith, it does hurt. It does niggle and sometimes make you cross when people say wrong things about my Jesus, the Holy Spirit and my Father. But it's a psalm which tells me about my life. The things I've done, the things when I've been low, in despair, times I've through in this lockdown I've not been at my best. But God is there. And the psalmist doesn't say, well, God, well, he waits for me to come back. It says he's there also. And there may be times in my life where I think I've run away from God because I can't hear him and I can't see him. And it reminds me he's standing next to me, waiting for me to respond. And that's simply my thought for today. It's good that we can't run away from God. It's good that we can't get to a place where he's not there. So I'd encourage you to read one, Psalm 139 and say, Lord, search me. It does say test me as well, because I know when God tests me, it's to make me a better person before him and a better person in society. So don't be afraid of God's testing, but take time just to consider wherever you are sitting, working, cooking, driving. God is standing right next to you. And that gives me confidence in my faith. Have a good day. God bless. See you soon.